Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme X1 Max vs Poco F3 GT device. And during this time, I'll try to test the 7 heavy games. And at this point, I'll try to use the high performance mode in the Realme X1 Max. And I'm not using any kind of gain space and there is no game turbo enabled. Yes. And this is my first time doing this kind of comparison friends. And let's see which phone will be having what kind of speeds in terms of the opening speeds and in terms of keeping them in the background RAM management. But first thing, let's see, dimensity 1200 and dimensity 1200. 8GB RAM and the 8GB place, 5GB external RAM also turned on. But using this high performance mode, sometimes it feels uh, really faster in terms of opening speeds. But the POCO F3 GT doesn't require any kind of high performance mode because it is always high every time with the performance. But let's see, so comparing both side by side, so now we'll get to know which phone has got what kind of potential in it in terms of opening speeds. That's the reason I thought of selecting this kind of big games. And one more thing, I did not use any kind of game space and game turbo, which has been recommended by a few of my subscribers as well, because if I try to use the game turbo and uh, game space, they'll try to clear background games and apps and everything. So it's very hard for us to predict the RAM management how it is. That's the reason I did not use any kind of gain space and there is no game turbo. And Wi-Fi connectivity, both phones are successfully connected to the same Wi-Fi network. 2.4 GHz, 2.4 GHz. So next thing I need to go to the battery option and uh, select the high performance mode. High performance mode is turned on at this point, that's good. And next is to clear everything from the process manager. So as a process manager, let me try to clear everything. So all the apps, I just want to clear everything in the Realme X and Max. So there's no applications running in the Realme X and Max at this moment, successful. As you can see, clear friends. Now let me set 2.4 gigahertz. And everything is completely clean from the background in both phones, completely clean. And these are the five games which are selected right now. And let's see, let's start with the first game, which is uh, Asphalt 9. And finally, I'm trying to show you what is available amount of RAM in the beginning. 5, 5 GB out of 8 GB is available and 4.84 GB available out of 8 plus 5 GB. So let's start with the first game, which is Asphalt 9 game. 1, 2 and 3. Let's see friends, which phone can actually open this Asphalt 9 game faster. So as I said, I'm trying to use high performance mode and there is no high performance mode. There is no game turbo at all. So now we'll get to know actual potential, what is happening between these two phones. And first Realme X and Max did open the boot up page and then the Poco F3 GT did open. So first phone, for one point for the Realme X and Max. Let's see the battery ones mobile game. So out of seven points, so the phone which wins the four points will be the clear winner. So first phone to open booting, I think the Poco F3 GT. Maybe, but let's see with the home page, which opens faster. Sometimes the home page takes a lot of time, but first is the Poco F3 GT. So both phones are having one, one point and next is a call of duty. I'll try to do a similar kind of comparison with other smartphones as well using these seven heavy games. So which are selected right now. So first phone to show login details also Poco F3 GT. And uh, so let's see which phone can be the winner right now. Both are loading. First is a Poco F3 GT. So two points for the Poco F3 GT till now. And next is a FIFA game. And Real Mix and Max I'm trying to use. High performance mode. Yes. High performance mode and extended rank capabilities. And I did clear everything from the process manager as well. So you should definitely remember that. So right now it's downloading. So I think it might take some time to update. Sorry for the disturbance. So let me need to start the test again because it's kind of downloading. Just only FIFA game. I'm trying to clear. That's it. Not, not any other game. One, two, three. Let's see if in this time, so both are performing kind of equal pace, which says touch the screen. I'm tapping the screen at same time and both phones did open at same time. Very close, very close. So in this segment, I think equal points. So till now two points and one point for the Realme X and Max and next is change impact. So let's see this game. Poco F3 GT in, is in the lead with the two points and Genshin Impact game is trying to open and first phone to show touch the screen is both not bad. Exactly at same time I did tap and both are loading with the resources. And 
first one to show login i think both and let's see which enters the genshin impact world so as soon as i tap you will be able to see exactly so both are loading little by little and i'll try to definitely include the one place not to as well so make sure you stay tuned for this one place not to videos in case if you're interested so first to enter is the realme x and max to the world then the poco f3 gt so two points for the realme x and max and two points for the poco f3 gt device at this range not bad next is a pubg mobile let's see this uh, pubg which phone can actually open this pubg game faster so this is going to be really very interesting friends and both phones are loading pretty fast and there's some problem with the area restriction i think so so let me try to keep this in the background as a ram management this point also kind of equal and next is a standoff to let's see final game so till now two two points we got and final game the standoff to game both are loading and checking the data both are going at same speed i think so but i'll just a little bit faster than realme x and max so realme x and max it open the stand of two game faster as you can see so most slightly high points for the realme, realme x and max for opening the few, one game extra faster than the poco f3 gt now let's check the ram management so in the ram management which phone will be having what kind of uh, performance in the poco f3 gt the ram management doesn't function properly in terms of displaying exact accurate values so in the before starting the test it showed 5 gb is available right now it's showing 5.1 gb is available it's kind of really strange but in the realme x and max it shows exactly how much is available according to the applications can games whatever open that's the one thing which you should definitely understand and let's start from the back application so one by one we'll try to open continuously from the back side of the games and let's see which phones can actually keep them in the background ram management fifa so till four games most of the smartphones will do great and let's do the call of duty is a call of duty one two three both phones so both phones did keep the call of duty game in the background ram management that's kind of really good next is a badgerons mobile game so let's see the badgerons mobile game this is kind of extreme level testing friends i don't think any phone will survive but still let's try wow the poco f3 gt was able to keep this badgerons mobile game in the background it's kind of really good as you can see friends the poco f3 gt still it has got the battery once mobile game in the background that's fantastic so in the ram management test one point bonus and let's see final game <laughs> this one no doubt no phone can keep yes as you can see friends so the poco f3 gt has got one advantage with the ram management slightly one game extra got stored in the background ram management the poco f3 gt so even though if you the poco f3 gt doesn't have any kind of high performance boosters and anything nothing at all enabled but still the speed was very much equal to the realme x and max in the realme x and max if you use the high performance mode only then the speed is slightly higher if you don't use high performance mode the speed of opening games will be slower than expected that's the one thing that's the reason i thought of mentioning to you so that's it friends thank you for watching this video is a quick comparison between mi ui and the realme ui versus and these two phones we do know the ram optimization is really good in the poco f3 gt from the beginning to till now i did like this kind of ram optimization in this phone so it was able to store i think six heavy games in the background that's really good to see and see in the next video and let's get more updates meanwhile signing off bye